We're inching closer and closer with every passing hour, with every passing minute to the nail-biting moment where Landy of Vikram will touch down on the South Pole of the Moon. Less than nine hours to go because 6 or 4 p.m. is the time that ISRO is given when the soft landing will be completed. Remember, it starts at 5.20 in the evening, so we'll go on for about 40, 45 minutes, and then at 6 or 4 is when the soft landing will be completed. So it's going to be a historic day, a historic moment for all of us. Prayers continuing to pour in for our ISRO scientists but the mood inside uh, at the ISRO headquarters where I currently am is upbeat, they're calm, they're collected as all of us should be. I know all of us are excited but also a tad nervous right now on what could happen in just a few hours from now. At this point, if you compare what happened to Chandrayaan 2 versus now, uh, in that landing phase, the last 5 to 10 minutes, everything will be completely automated. So you're going to be seeing the sensors, the thrusters all kicking in, including the lander image camera, all of that being used by land of Vikram to ensure that he brings alive all of the dreams of a billion Indians of touching down on the moon. Once Vikram reaches there, it'll take about two hours before rover Pragyan is allowed to step out as per experts and that's because the lunar dust will first be allowed to settle. But if you're feeling nervous right now, just imagine what's going through the minds of these ISRO scientists who toil day and night for in fact this particular moment. They've been working for the last 40 days as well, tracking every update that's come in uh, on Chandrayaan 3, on its movement. Everything went as per schedule. It's been a picture-perfect launch. It's been a picture-perfect schedule also that's been followed so far. And that's what's led to the moon being to, at the closest point uh, to Chandrayaan, I beg your pardon, being closest to the moon, 25 kilometers from the moon as it follows its elliptical orbit. From 5.20 this evening, you will see that particular maneuver where Lando Vikram will in fact turn, it will tilt the maneuver, but Isro is confident that if ever we can do it now. Sagar Raja is joining us live with more details. He's uh, in fact at another vantage point of the Isro headquarters. Sagai, less than nine hours to go. What are you really picking up from your sources of what's happening inside? What is the ISRO team telling you? The scientists are working around the clock as we speak now. They are monitoring every single movement of a lander Vikram. Remember, this is a touchdown phase. This is the fourth phase where they are keeping a track of velocity. That means the speed of the lander when it is reaching close to the surface of the moon. And what you also get to learn is when it is around 150 meters away from the moon, there will be a special camera which will be activated from the lander, which will also take the pictures of a moon surface. And it will also find out if there are any kind of craters or boulders on the moon, where it will send a signal through laser Doppler velocity to, to the Earth, which will also analyze which will be the best place for them to land. As we speak now, all these things have been done here in the ISRO a tracking center where the signals are sent from the orbiter to the earth and probably by 6-4 everything will be in place. So uh, once the lander lands around 6.04, uh, it will take around two hours for uh, rover to come outside uh, from the lander because according to scientists uh, they have to take some time, they have to analyze the temperature, they have to ensure that all the dust goes down and thereafter they will allow the rover to step outside and that's when the rover will start doing its job. As of now, the scientists are tracking the touchdown phase of the lander Vikram.